Good afternoon, I'm uh, Lieutenant Commander Austin West. I'm part of the Meteorology and Oceanography curriculum here at NPS. My name is Captain Sam Fitzmorris and I'm in the Operations Research Curriculum. My name is Lieutenant Eric Samayoa. I'm a student here at the Department of Physics at Naval Postgraduate School. My name is Lieutenant Sasha Barnett. I am an Engineering Duty Officer and I'm finishing my Master's Degree in Applied Physics here at NPS. I am Lieutenant Commander Michael Houghton, call sign Jeeves. I'm a student with the Financial Management uh, Curriculum uh, with the Graduate School of Defense Management. But the key operational concerns that I tried to address in my thesis are the fiscal constraints uh, and how that affects our combat readiness. Specifically, I'm looking at finding the most economic options available to the strike fighter community uh, to achieve their combat readiness requirements, uh, such that we are being very deliberate with where we allocate our resources and identify options where uh, funds may be made available to redistribute to other high priority uh, requirements within the Naval aviation enterprise. The key operational uh, problem that I was trying to tackle with my thesis work was uh, characterizing the atmosphere's impacts on propagation for high energy lasers. So the fleet is starting to see these types of weapon systems arriving aboard ships and they need to understand uh, when and how they can operate and what type of atmospheric conditions will have impacts on their system performance. The Navy and the Department of Defense as a whole are moving towards developing more capable, high-powered laser weapon systems. At the forefront of this uh, initiative, we have HELCAP, or High Energy Laser Counter Anti-Ship Cruise Missile Program. So the motivation for this thesis was for HELCAP in that our goal was to provide uh, useful insight on uh, the atmospheric propagation effects and their impact that they have on laser weapon systems. My thesis is uh, focused on maximizing the survivability and lethality of ground-based anti-ship missiles in expeditionary advanced base operations. Using the analytical skills that we learn at Naval Postgraduate School, uh, we can analyze problems like this potentially thousands of times using simulation before we ever put Marines in the field. And while a simulation is never a perfect analog to the real thing, the conclusions and insights that we draw from research like this ultimately benefit the Lance Corporal in the field. MPS, like undergrad, taught me how to think critically. Uh, many of the courses here that I took focus on, on naval applications and really help me understand the physics behind our advanced combat systems. Uh, with, with this deeper understanding, I am better able to understand how these systems operate and how to employ them more effectively. As the Marine Corps continues to reinvigorate its naval heritage, we have an institutional obligation to make sure that we have uh, looked at every problem before we put Marines in the field. Specifically, uh, operating in these contested environments will require Marines to be able to persist ashore in uh, unfamiliar operating areas. So no matter what degree you're studying to earn at Naval Postgraduate School, you will walk away with more tools in your belt. For my case in the operations research curriculum, that means an expanded analytical skill set and the ability to act as a bridge between the operating forces and analytical professionals. 